you go back to Angela's talk show things, she, I don't remember what episode she did it on, but Mr. Cherry, like a black man from New York, New Jersey, he shows you how to knock the attorney from the county, the state, the DMV, from the IRS, from the visa, right out of the picture. So then you're standing in an empty courtroom because they, they're sure there's an attorney. They might have 100 attorneys there. The best case that I always tell people all the time, we remember, everybody remembers George Bush versus Al Gore in 2000 with the hanging chair in Florida, right? This was a very simple case. They went to the United States Supreme Court. The United Supreme Court had dis- ruled on that thing in less than five minutes because Al Gore, even though, like I said, his daddy owned Occidental Oil and Al Gore was a billionaire and he was the standing vice president of the United States, he was the vice president at the time they went before the Supreme Court. And he said, oh, well, you have hanging chairs, and look, we got millions and millions of hanging chairs, so I really won the election. They drove up uh, to the United States Supreme Court with tractor trailers full of hanging chairs. They had hundreds, thousands, millions of attorneys on Al Gore's side to present their case to the, uh, to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said, is there one man who's willing to stick his hand in the Bible before the Supreme Court that said that his right was interfered with to vote because of a hanging chair, and can that man pick out one ballot out of that tractor trailer and identify that ballot as his and prove that that is his hanging chair on that ballot? And the attorneys try to use up all this legalese stuff and millions of documents and da, 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 all kinds of court cases and codes and citations. And uh, Scalia just asked them, is there one man? Just find me some like black guy from Miami, a homeless guy, who wants to come here in the Supreme Court and claim that his right to vote was interfered with by a machine. Until you bring that man forward to the Supreme Court, Al Gore, you have no case. Now, you go back to Florida and let them do whatever they want to do. But I'm telling you right now, you have no standing before the, uh, before the Supreme Court of the United States because there needs to be an injured party. So if you actually read the Al Gore versus George Bush case with the, uh, with the United States Supreme Court, there was no injured party. They had no case. Well, you're so, saying that if the attorney doesn't have the, um, the principal there standing beside him willing to that's um, right. testify? But there has to be an injured that party. I, that, that I owe him the money. That's right. He's going to have to There's swear no that. case. That he's going to have to swear that his right to his property has been interfered with by your actions or your inactions. And there's nobody who's going to be able to say, my name is Suffolk County, and uh, because she didn't pay me the money that she promised me, I couldn't buy my kid a G.I. Joe doll with a Kung Fu grip this Christmas, so she's injured me. Nobody's going to be able to do it. They don't have a case. So don't answer their case as a defendant. Go back and listen to this thing. Make your own case that they're filing a false claim against you because there's going to be no injured party who's going to stand in their court. Do I put that into the, um, to the same court? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can put it in the same court because anybody in a in black... In other words, don't, don't answer their, their, right. um, their claim. Well, if they're claiming that... Do my own... Say, well, what you, if you do want to make an answer, say, I believe you're filing a false claim. And if you don't, Pardon? you know, you can say that you believe that they're filing a false claim against you. And yes, they might have the codes. And yes, they might have all kinds of stuff on the books that says this and that. But you still believe it's a false claim. You don't have to believe in Santa. You don't have to believe whatever they want to believe. You have your right to believe whatever you want. And this is what always gets people in trouble all the time. Thank God you asked me that question. Because I hear all these people saying, oh, well, they have no facts. They have no facts. They have no facts. Never, never argue the facts. When a policeman wants to say I did 900 miles an hour backwards down the street on my roof, tires squealing, okay, I believe you. You have the right to believe whatever you want. Those are your beliefs. Now, I have the right to believe that unless there's an injured party, you have no case. 